Hello and welcome back to my wibbly wobbly world. It is the 27th of October 22 and it's just about midday on a very very soggy day in Scotland. What have we got going on? What have we got coming in? We have got a grand total of 531 watts coming in. Which all things considered is actually not too bad. Anywho, on the subject of my batteries. Here's all my naughty little ducklings all lined up in a row. I'll try and give you an idea of how bloated they are. The light behind the fixture. You know, these are all touching. Do, do, do. That is just a little bit of silicon baking sheet to give a like a sh a sheer lay layer or a bit of sheath, so just in case there's ever any rubbing, because that's uh, that's actually part of the live terminal in, underneath that plastic shrink wrap. So as you can see, they're quite quite badly bloated. And the other problem that it gives me is you get the little bus bars that come with the batteries it's supposed to <laughs> so that's supposed to take 100 amp 100 amps through that through that tiny little plate <laughs> nah. yeah right but the problem it does give me is where they're so bloated is that that no longer fits on any of them it's quite a bit short so Fingers crossed, I'll give them a little bit of a squeeze up to a point where this bus bar will fit and I might leave it at that. I'm going to take too many liberties and I'm going to keep a very very close eye on the burst cap, the pressure relief, as I'm winding it in. So that's it, yeah, two bookend clamps, the threaded rod and up the end that I'm twiddly wiggly in I have put some timing marks and I've scribed a line on that nut so that I can count the amount of turns that I do do it all equally or spread it about like, like a pizza cut uh, turn at a time and then what I'll also do is I shall measure in between there both sides top middle and bottom to keep the two end clamps nice and parallel so I don't go wonky so that's the plan for now hopefully fingers crossed if it takes a lot of force to compress the batteries at all then I shall probably chicken out not take any liberties and I'll have to make up some cables uh, you know, I have to make up some jumper cables to go from the terminals instead of using these. Uh, if, uh, that's only if they don't squash too badly. So, fingers crossed, here we go. We are looking promising so far. I've managed to go a little way. Yeah, probably about an inch and a half, something like that. And up until this point, it's only been finger tight. So there's not a lot of strain on them yet already there's no none of the burst caps none of the burst caps have, have popped at all I can still wiggle them so plenty to go yet mildly optimistic well we're making progress getting there squeezing up nicely I've wound them in about two inches now so far and it is only just getting too ouchy thing ouchy finger tight I've not started to use a spanner yet it's still finger tight but ouchy finger tight um, nothing's popped yet on the burst caps I can still wiggle them so they're not squeezed to death And I'm just starting to be able to get the bus bar 
on them, not too much further to go. I can get it on most of them. There's only the odd one now that I can't get on. There we go. Not too much further to go. So, be brave. Carry on, carry on screwing me screws. Jobs are good and as they say, well, anyway, that's about all I've got the bottle for. Um, started to have to use the spanner, but again, I wasn't strangling it. It was not that tight, so I've moved a good distance to squeeze them all up together. Uh, just got to a point now where all the bus bars fit. Do, do, do. So there's a couple that are just a little snug, but as I said, uh, uh, that's just a little snug, but that's fine. Uh, it's about all I've got the bottle for. As I said, it's squeezed up massively, and I really thought that it would take a lot more than it did do. I just, none of the burst caps have gone. I've double checked my voltages just to make sure that nothing's shorted out and they're still all measuring 3.3 volts or 3.33 so next job wire up this spaghetti junction for the BMS and connect up all the bus bars so plenty to do yet but I'm really really happy really really happy there's no sign of any electrolyte leakage at all you know no no electrolyte leakage at all so that's really good that's the other good thing about using a bit of um, plasterboard for a plinth is that if there is any electrolyte leakage nasty nasty chemicals that is going to be really absorbent so hopefully but have faith all will be just brilliant so all right carry on well it's another grey day another day still plodding away getting there slowly but surely all we've got coming in midday october 20 something uh, 112 watts superb Right, progress with the battery so far. I've been mucking about with that. I was driving myself do lally, getting in a tangle with me uh, balance leads. And the battery negative lead of the Dally BMS. Um, so what I thought I would do is I'll just quickly mock up out of some scrap timber, a gear tray with some standoffs. Um, look at me, not complete liability, covering up my terminals like a good boy, eh? Hey? Anyway, well, right, so yeah, I was mocking up a gear tray, I'm not too happy about it being all out of wood, because at the end of the day, if anything ever went tits up, um, it's just more fuel for a fire, but for mock up purposes, it would be just fine, and then, you know, further down the line, it could end up being made out of metal. So that's it so far, uh, wound in a good distance, put some lock nuts on it. Give you an example of where I chickened out um, on the amount that I was going to squash them. I cut that sheath, I measured the cell, 36 mil th thick, multiplied that by 16, cut some sheath um, so that I don't have any shorting out risks on bare metal I mean I, I could still effectively squeeze them that much uh, I think that's excessive for the condition of the cells and I chickened out that's that's more than enough for me I don't want to pop them but I can get all the bus bars on and that's tickety-boo 
one problem that I have got and it was a bit of a mistake on my behalf is obviously I went for a good sized BMS a daily BMS so it's a big BMS and little batteries and the main terminals really quite slack and there's not an awful lot of meat there contact area uh, so what I shall probably do is <clears throat> the plan is this we're not going to be drawing massive amperages out of this battery bank um, so what I shall probably do is I shall probably get a ring lug terminal that fits the M6 terminal post and use that as a shim just so that it gets more contact area on the underneath of that so it's a bit better than that I'll try and you know so it's it's for the next size up it'll be for an M8 lug and a bigger battery but as I said I'm not drawing massive amperage out of this It'll just be for the fridges, little little loads. Um, so yeah, my next job will be try and wire up the Dally BMS. I've put an app on my phone. I'll try and see if it will talk to it. Uh, and this is where I start to not enjoy life because I, I've always been a mechanical engineer. I hate electronics, and this is all just ugh, just especially the good old. English instructions it's just gibberish there's plenty of YouTube videos out of out there they're a good old University of YouTube so that'll probably be the next that'll probably be the next video that's enough of my waffling for now uh, yeah I reckon the next video will be me trying to wire up my BMS balance leads and then try and see if it will talk to the app and if I can actually figure it out so please like, comment and subscribe if you want to see me vaporised. <laughs> Look after yourselves. That's all for now. Bye bye.